Hey everyone, let's talk about Ella Minopi by Mark Dunn. This is an epistolary novel, meaning the story is told through letters that the characters write to each other. And that's all we get. The novel is rather short, the letters do get shorter towards the end, which makes it a very fast read. But that doesn't mean the novel is not good, because it's amazing. Unfortunately, the novel is also very difficult to summarize. We basically have a small island in the middle of the United States, which is self-governed by a council. And this island is called Nollop, after the great creator who created the sentence the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, which uses all 26 letters of the alphabet and is thus a very difficult feat. And the people on the island are very literal and they are very wordy, they speak very formal and they worship language. So when one day from the monument falls a letter of this sentence, the council is first confused, the city doesn't know what to do, everybody's like, well, just repair and put it back up. But the council says, no, 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 it's the great nullip telling us to not use this letter anymore. So they ban the letter Z. They ban using words with the letter Z, either in writing or spoken. So all the books and all the papers and everything is banned. And in the beginning, it's not so difficult, but it is rather scary because the council punishes usage of the forbidden letter very harsh. So you have one, two, and three times that you can use the letter before you are banished. And when you use it the third time, you're banished rather quickly from the island. And in the beginning, it's, yeah, not so bad. People are a little bit scared, but they're not worried yet. But as more and more tiles fall down, the situation becomes harder and harder. And it's really interesting to see how this affects the people on the island. And that's what this novel is really about, I think, about the people dealing with the situation and how this one crazy government can affect and influence and oppress their people and how they are somehow helpless in points and they don't know what to do. And we have people fighting and people giving up. There's tons of people just leaving and emigrating before they are banished. And a lot of people just telling on each other and how they have to deal with that. And there are many characters that you meet where you're like, oh, I don't really like that person. I don't know what she's done that. And then you see things happening to them and how they change their original belief and how all of this affects them. It's very, very interesting. It shows really how a people can react to oppression. And yeah, also, I don't know the word, something's taken away from them. And in this case, it's language. This is the other thing that's very, very interesting because how important language is in our life and in our world to communicate and to live and to thrive. We see the people first stuttering and the more and more letters are lacking, they are incapable of speaking and saying what they want and conveying their thoughts. And we see how the relationships between the characters is influenced and affected by the lack of language. And the more and more tiles fall, we see how drastically empty this whole island becomes, not only of people, but also of emotion and quality life and seriously feeling. And it's really interesting how you get sucked into this by the writing of the novel. And also it's very interesting since this is an epistolary novel, we only get the letters that the people write with their limited choice of alphabet, so letters. And it's really interesting how they choose other words and how they describe things to still be able to communicate. So it, for example, day turns into sun to sun. And when the U is forbidden, it turns into night to night. And all these things, how they work their way around it and get creative while at the other end just feeling lost. And it's very, very interesting and thought provoking. I really enjoyed the read and can only recommend it to anyone. It's like I said, a fast read and it's really well done. It's, it's just mind blown. If you have read LMNOP, please let me know in comments and let's talk about the novel. Tell me what you thought, what inspired you or what impressed you the most and what you took out of it. I'm really curious to hear that. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.